Hello, my fellow gerbil lovers, and welcome back to the Gerbil Vine. Thank you all so much for being here today, for clicking on this video, and for helping the gerbils and I spread around good care information here on YouTube. So for today's video, I thought it would be interesting to do an updated version of what I feed my gerbils. I'm currently in the process of making them a homemade food mix, which is what I'll be showing you all in the video today. Now, making a homemade gerbil food mix is definitely not something that I recommend everyone do. For a while, it was something I had always considered to be like taboo in the world of gerbil owning. I have heard so many stories from owners of gerbils that have their gerbils currently on a homemade diet and they're doing really, really great on it. But it can be a bit of a tricky situation as you really do have to get your measurements perfect. And I also recommend that you feed them some sort of pellet or lap lock formula in addition to feeding them um, the homemade mix so that they are able to get all the added vitamins and minerals and that kind of stuff that is in the pellet lab lock formula. Before we go any further, please make sure that you like and subscribe so that you never miss our uploads. So why do I want to take on the challenge that is a homemade gerbil food mix? Thanks, Rico. Well, like many other gerbil owners from all over the world, I'm starting to get fed up with the lack of proper nutrition and ingredients that are in store-bought gerbil food diets. Isn't that right? Are we sick of it? Are we sick of it? We're sick of it. Anyways, I was growing increasingly frustrated with the... Friends. 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 Anyways, we were growing increasingly frustrated with the poor ingredients that were in it, as well as the filler foods like corn or alfalfa. Right, Jer? That's right. And to be honest, unless you do a ton of research on what gerbils actually require nutritionally, you likely are just going to end up with some sort of poor quality store-bought gerbil food. Now, there are some store-bought gerbil foods that are better than others in terms of quality and the ingredient list and their nutritional value, but even then, I still don't consider them to be anywhere near what a gerbil actually requires. One of the most common reasons why I am switching my gerbil's food One of the most common reasons why I am making the switch from store-bought gerbil food to a homemade diet would be the amount of time that I spend picking out the bad ingredients or the filler foods and the small amount of food that I am left with after picking out all the bad ingredients. By the time I'm done picking out that stuff, I'm left with like half of what I had originally thought that I purchased. This is turning out to be quite a stressful thing for me and in my current state of frustration, I have decided to do my own research and come up with what I think is a perfect gerbil food blend mix. I am by no means encouraging any of you to go out and research and feed your gerbils a homemade diet, as this is something that I mentioned before requires an obscene amount of research and a lot of math on your part. So because this is not a how-to video um, on how to make your own gerbil food mix, Jerry, do you want to help? I will not be listing my exact measurements or formula for my gerbils food diet, but instead I'll be sharing with you the ingredients that I'm going to be including. Calculating a gerbils diet should have many aspects to it um, when you're in the math part of it. This includes but is not limited to calculating the fat, the protein, the fiber content for each individual ingredient as well as the overall percentage of what you should be adding into the mix. So for me this meant researching every individual ingredient and getting the nutritional value for that ingredient, marking down all their percentages, and then adding everything into an organized Excel spreadsheet. So without waiting any longer, let's jump into today's video and start making our homemade gerbil food mix. Right Jerry? You gonna make a food mix? So first and foremost, you're going to need some sort of large tub or bin or some sort of storage container that you can actually use to hold the food. You will also need some sort of miniature scale or something of that nature in order to measure out the appropriate amounts to include into the gerbil food mix. And then you're going to need some sort of like measuring cup or something like that. Um, I have this small little set over here that we're going to be using today. Now all of the items that I'm using are organic today. I did get all of these items from the bulk barn. Then of course there are some of the small regular items that I got from PetSmart, um, like the peas and carrots mix, and that is something to my knowledge that is not organic. But basically the ingredients that we're going to be including today are... So for grains we have white, red, and golden millet, oat groats, red wheat, barley, regular oats, buckwheat flakes, 
buckwheat groats, and tricolor quinoa. For seeds, we have dill, fennel, flax, niger, chia, hemp, and pumpkin. And for their protein, I'm adding in some mealworms. And for their veggies, we've included some dried peas, carrots, and sweet potato. This is not their complete diet. I also plan on mixing in some forage mix as well as a lab lock. So let's get started with mixing our ingredients. Before we start mixing, let's quickly go over some supplies you'll need. First of all, you'll need all of your ingredients. I also have a large storage bin over here that I'm going to be using to hold the food mix once it's all mixed up together. And then I've got this little spoon already over here to spoon some mix out little bits at a time and a small little measuring spoon, and then a bowl over here that I'm going to be using to actually hold the grains and seeds and stuff while I weigh it out on the scale. The first thing I'm going to add into the homemade food mix is this mix of seeds and grains and veggies. This mix includes canary seed, white millet, red millet, oat groats, golden millet, niger seeds, flax seeds, canola seeds, dried carrots, and dried sweet potato. Then we're going to add in our barley, and then the buckwheat flakes and groats, And then our whole grain oats, and finally the tricolor quinoa. Next, we have our super seed blend, which includes chia, hemp, and flax seeds. I'm also adding in some dill seeds and pumpkin seeds. Finally, I'm going to add in the dried peas, carrots, and mealworms. So when we're done adding in all of our ingredients, we're going to give it a really good mix and this is what it looks like. As you can see, it's absolutely beautiful. It looks healthy. It looks natural. It looks like something that a gerbil should be eating. It doesn't have any sort of corn or alfalfa or hay or any of the stuff that gerbils really don't need and can't properly digest. So basically everything in here is something that is good for them. So that concludes our video on our homemade gerbil food mix. I hope that you guys thought that it was an interesting video. Maybe you're feeling inspired to go out and do your own research on making your own formula at home. Or maybe you're currently happy with the product that you're currently feeding your gerbils and you don't think that there's anything you need to change. And I think that that's fine too. Not everyone has to go... Um, above and beyond to a point where you have to literally make your gerbils homemade food. It just turns out that I was extremely unhappy with what I was finding in stores and it is something that weighs on me constantly um, and bothers me while I have to sit there and like I said, physically pick out the bad pieces of food that you don't want them to have because they don't need them and there's no nutritional value. So if you liked today's video and you thought that it was interesting, drop us a comment down below letting us know your thoughts. Um, if you feel like sharing, you can also let us know what you're currently feeding your gerbils and what you think of homemade diets in general. We also will be having um, a sort of really cool upcoming video on our channel. I have a friend on Reddit and um, they live in Germany and they currently have their own gerbil. And this person recently reached out to me and suggested that we do some sort of international gerbil supply exchange, um, which I thought was something that was so cool to do and just a really, really neat idea. And um, I was so excited to look on all the German websites for all of the gerbil items that I wanted. Um, and I had so much fun going out to all the shops for her and shopping for her and her gerbil. Um, it was just a complete fun experience. Um, so I am waiting for the package from Germany. It has been shipped out as well as my package has also been shipped to her. Um, so once I get that package, I'm really excited to make a super cool video to show you guys everything and uh, really how the gerbil care and shopping standards are different from where I live in Canada to where she lives in Germany. Uh, so when I do get that package, I can't wait to make a video and show you guys everything that came from Germany. If you ever have any video suggestions or any sort of topic that you'd like us to discuss or make a video on, drop that down below in the comments too. We're quite active with interacting with our YouTube audience, gauging and answering all of your questions. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure that you like and subscribe so that you never miss our uploads. Thank you. Bye.